In this video, I'd like to show you an advanced shipping technique using our advanced packing and shipping. And we're going to show you how to pack cartons in the aisle using a handheld device on Agility Mobile. So let's go to our sales tab and our sales order and show you the order we're working with here. So we have order 1238. We have two office print printers we want to ship out on two different cartons. And then we ship it out in UPS. So let's go to the handheld device and we'll go down here to pack cartons. And we're going to hit enter for a new shipment. And since it's a new shipment, it's also going to give us a new carton. And we want to go ahead and scan our order, scan our item, and the bin we want to ship it out of. And we're just going to put one. And once we do that, we're going to get a label. So I'm just printing the label to the screen here. Uh, but obviously, we print to the label printer on the warehouse floor. And you can see how fast that printed. Uh, if, there's also other videos out there to show you how to handle document management and how we handle that um, very elegantly. So I've got shipment 10114, carton 113. I'm going to take a step back real quick and look at the shipping tree and what we're building so far. So somebody either at the shipping dock, shipping desk, or management, they can come in here and pull up the shipment and see what's being packed so far. So we've got one carton. Of course, we're only packing two, so um, you wouldn't have a whole lot of time between each carton. But if you've got large orders, whether it's you know cartons or pallets, you could, might want to go in here and see the progress of how they're building up a shipment. But here I'm going to click New Carton, and so we have a new carton to pack again. I'm going to scan the same item. I'll just go to the same bin and do another one. Okay, now we have carton 14. And there's again our carton 114 label that just printed to the screen. And we go back now to our shipping tree. And I'm just going to refresh the shipping tree now. So now we have carton 113 and carton 114 for one and one. And it also transferred it to the stage bin. So that's really important to notice because I scan it out of bin uh, 05A2S1L1. When I do that, I want to make sure I real-time deduct a inventory out of that bin because it's no longer there. It's physically now sitting at the 05-stage bin. But now we also have this UPS button. So the reason the UPS button is available to us is if I go back over here before I go forward and we look at our options and we have shipping type mapping. So for the shipping type of UPS ground, so in business one if the shipping type is UPS ground, we've mapped that to the UPS service type of ground and payment is prepaid. It could be freight collect, constantly build, third party and so on. Okay, so prepaid means it's going to be charged prepaid to the UPS, your UPS account. And then uh, once it's charged to your UPS account, then you might have either uh, already charged for that with your customer or you might add that to the invoice later on. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click UPS. And this is going to create the delivery note in business one. So now the inventory has been relieved. And it's also going to pop, prompt me with a UPS screen here. And maybe this is three and three pounds, and I'll just click ship. And this is now going to take all the information, get a tracking number, and print a label. And so we have label one of two and label two of two. So I'm just printing to a, my little Snagit uh, printer here so you can see what it looks like on the screen. And we'll just close it out. And we also have a packing list. So this is a, a crystal report document that we created, and it's, you can make it look however you like. Uh, this packing list, either this packing list can be assigned to be printed for every customer, or you can define by each individual customer or customer type which documents you want to print out for those customers. And if you want to learn more about that, uh, we do have videos on our document management. All right, and that's it. So the delivery note has now been created. If we go into business business one now and go look at the sales order which was 1238 you can see it's now closed and if we go into the relationship map we can see we now have a delivery created for that sales order all right and that's it thanks for watching